Okay, I got my gear. Now let's go out and give this Movo wireless system a real world test. Ha <laughs> ha. Testing one, two. Okay, here I am. I am at a ball field at a local college. Now to my right is somebody who's exercising, I guess, and they're jamming out. Uh, hopefully you can't hear that music. Uh, to my left is a train track, and there are some trains occasionally that come by. Uh, behind me is a highway. So there's gonna be traffic going back and forth. And of course it is a little bit windy, even though it is unseasonably warm <laughs> this, this month. Um, usually it's, it's quite cold, but I just have a little, little jacket on. Now, I do have the lavalier mic, like the internal microphone. What I'm gonna do, straight back, there is a sign that says 400 feet. Also another sign on the left-hand side that says 365 feet. Uh, so I'm going to walk back to the 365, walk over to the 400 and walk back. Now, even though it is unseasonably warm today, as you can see in the clouds above me, it is quite a bit humid as well. So when it comes to sine waves or sound waves, anything that is dense, uh, like for instance, if I would turn around and walk back there, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me very well because the signal is trying to go through my body. And as my wife says, I'm very dense. <laughs> but also with the air, the more humidity there is, the more dense the air is, which means the 385 feet, which Movo claims uh, this will transmit, is probably in very dry air, <laughs> okay, and line of sight and you know, nothing impeding the signal. But we're gonna test it out anyway. Now this weight that we were talking about before, I'm gonna show you how we string this. So all you do is you put the weight on the end, see if I can come up a little bit. You put this on the end of your microphone and a talent, especially if you're a male and you're trying to string a talent for the female, whoops. I didn't have it on very good, is you would take this, go down the shirt, and that would give weight to the string, and you won't have to reach up into the, uh, the female's blouse. You just have to go in a little bit and pull it down, and there you go. And then you would just plug it into the transmitter on their side. Now, I am going to swap out the transmitter but right now, again, I'm just going to use the, the microphone here. Now, as you can see from the side shot, I'm only a few feet away now. I am going to be walking all the way back and we're going to be testing this thing out. Now I am going to turn and walk and we're going to walk most of the way down. It is five gigahertz, of course, is professional. So this would be considered maybe like a prosumer. And I would never be this far away from my equipment. <laughs> anyway, uh, however, I just want to give you an example of how far away uh, we can go to this. To my right is 365 feet, according to the uh, baseball arena signage so we're going to see exactly how far away this will transmit now i am on a gain of five at this point so i want to double check that yes i am on gain of five here and also gain five on the receiver so this should give you a pretty good indication so i'm not 100 percent sure if you can see me <laughs> because i am quite a bit of the way but again, this is gonna be a very, very good example of how it handles wind, how it handles noise to my right, how it handles uh, train tracks. Now there's no train coming right now, but probably by the time we get done, we will have a train coming by. We're back here at close to 365, so probably about 350 feet. And then we're gonna go back even further, 
Now, if this works, I will be extremely impressed, especially with, again, the density of the air, the noise around me. So, yep, we're about three, there we go, 365 now. And then over here, we're gonna walk, we're gonna push this to 400 feet. And then we're gonna see about how far this thing cuts out. Again, I'm trying to keep line of sight. So we're gonna do line of sight at 400 feet, which is well over the 385 feet that Mobo said this, key, this thing can do on optimal uh, measurements. So here we are walking back. Now I know this is a little long, but I want you to see exactly uh, how well this transmits. I'm assuming it did cut out back there. Let's see. It's still transmitting. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop off the, the, the dead cat and I'm gonna plug in the external microphone. See if we can change on the fly. It claims it's transmitting. So I only have a pop filter on this. I don't have a dead cat, but we'll see if this transmits okay. So here I am coming back. We'll see again if the internal microphone the external lavalier, how the transmission is, how the sound quality is between the external microphone and the internal microphone. So there we have it. That's a full test of the distance. That's the full test of the external microphone with the uh, fuzzy <laughs> or dead cat as well as the lavalier microphone that came with the system. Okay, we are now back into the studio. Uh, it's a different day, different shirt, but just want to say I did look over the video and just what I thought when I was turning, the audio did cut out because it was trying to go through my body. That kind of made sense, but wow. <laughs> That was awesome. We made it all the way back to 400 feet. And I had a very clear signal. I think I could have went further. But again, as I said before, I don't normally go that far away from my camera anyway. So I think that is a wonderful product. However, I want to do one more final test. Now to do that, I had to get this cable. And I'll put a description down below um, if it works, <laughs> okay? So I have a quarter inch to mini plug and they are both TRS. So I'm gonna plug this into the Rodecaster Pro 2 that uh, you just saw a video on that. And I'm gonna see if this can go through the mixer. Now I'm going to assume line level, but we will see. Hello, <laughs> okay. We're going to try our best here to swap this out. And I'm gonna pull out, let's see, four. Oops, it's bumped the camera, but I think you can still see it. And I'm gonna plug in, where'd I put it? There it is. I'm gonna plug in the cable. that I'm gonna to use to plug in the receiver. There we go. Alrighty, then we're going to open this up, get the receiver. Now this is headphones out. So I'm gonna assume, I guess I should read the directions, huh? <laughs> assume I plug that in there. Turn it on. One, two, three. Movo. Okay. I'm trying to put this somewhere where you can see it too. There we go. Alrighty. And then we'll just pick one of the transmitters. Turn that on. Let 
we're on four. Test check one, two. Oops. I'm going to bring that level up anyway. Now, I will tell you, I did cheat a little bit. I'm on condenser. If you put it on line in, it does have noise. So I guess it registers as a condenser microphone. And then all I have to do is adjust the gain level. Oop, there we go. It's right about where I want it. I have the microphone to my chest. See if you can see it here. So you have a microphone to my chest. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a very short recording and see if it pops or S's or tings. So Peter Piper picked up a peck of pickled peppers. He truly did. Say it isn't so. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's enough for the recording. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this product? This thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> I mean, awesome. This went above and beyond what my expectations were. Uh, yes, Movo sent this to me, but because of that, I have no... I have no monetary reason at all to, to say this is good or bad, to sway my opinion one way or another. So when I say this thing is good, I mean it is good. For two, 2.4 gigahertz system, I am absolutely positively impressed. You will see me using this in future episodes, guaranteed. So <laughs> with that said, if you think, even think that you might need a wireless system, get this one. <laughs> okay, this is freaking awesome. So my opinion, but I'm telling you, give it a shot. Thank you for staying this long. I really appreciate it. Look in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna to try to get you the best price that I can for Movo, so press those links. See what you got, start your search there. You don't have to buy from those links, just start your search so you, and if you can find a better deal, get it, all right? The purpose of me doing these is to give you the information, not for me to make money off of it. Uh, but if you could, please subscribe. <laughs> that's, that's what helps me out. Uh, subscribe, give me a like, Put a comment in the description below. That's my payment. Okay. So with that said, have a great day. This is freaking awesome.